So, this is my studio. It's a huge mess. <laughs> but recently I realized that this space was no, no longer very functional. So finally I'm gonna completely reorganize everything. There's a huge mess. So that's currently my workstation right there. So like everything kind of works here. I use that bench right there. Oop, is it right there? <laughs> I use that bench over there to basically sit down and then I have my computer right there. Um, I have my plants over here with my clothes. This is a chest with some of my clothes. And then I have this drawer back here, this, this, this shelf. And of course I have my big shelf over there. And then these is basically my storage right there. And then I have a tiny little couch and this is my bike trainer because this also serves as a gym. And then there's my walk-in closet. So I have a lot of stuff and it's clearly like I'm outgrowing this space. So I need to downsize and flip it all up so that it's more functional with everything that I have. So today we're gonna go ahead and first clean this up. And after we clean this up, we're gonna change this wall since everything's gonna be this side now. So let's get to it. Say hi, Brandon. How's it going? <laughs> because as I was putting the uh, the peck boards, I realized that we didn't have enough, and I also didn't have enough stuff to hang. And uh, I was gonna get some what do you call them? Uh, flat files, but the flat files are not gonna fit, so we're gonna have to find a solution. So spend that money. Yep. Here we go. But before we go and shop, everything that we need, we needed to get some food. So we got our stuff. We got a lot of stuff. And uh, we have to haul all this down. <laughs> so we're back from Ikea. And we got a cute, some pretty cool little thingies, little nifties. So we got a little, like little baskets thing to hang in there. And we got more for the hooks. So we're gonna finish setting up that pegboard and then we'll finish up with the rest. Right, Diana? Yeah. Come say hi. See what the keys you have to make now? Is... Come say hi too. Hi. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get fixing this. Finally done. 
<sighs> literally, it's been almost three weeks, literally to the date since I started this whole renovation project. And there was just so many things. I literally took out about four bags of trash. And I'm talking the big old bags of trash. And it's good though, because now I feel like there's this big echo in this room because there's so much less stuff. I just had literally piles and piles of old papers, of cords, of flash drives that I haven't used since high school. So I'm glad if all of that is done. There's still a little things here and there that you know will have to be cleaned up, but I'm mostly excited about this, this right here. Not only is it a for show piece, but it's literally so much functional. This is just so much easier. If I need something, I know where it's gonna be at. I can just go ahead and grab it. I know where all my inks are at. So I'm never like trying to figure out if I need to buy an extra tin of ink, an extra tin of a certain ink or not, because everything's right there. So it's so much useful, not only for me right here, because I can actually move this desk now. Before I was just stuck to the wall. So now I can just move this thing around. So it's so much functional, so much more excited. So if you've seen my stories on Instagram, I know I read a lot, I post a lot, and I had a lot, a lot, lots of books, like way too many books. So what I ended up doing was I need to shuffle some things around. So I went ahead and had the hard decision of pruning everything that I had. And I just really left everything that I, I would realistically read and everything that I have read that I do like. So all of this color scheme, it wasn't so much for the looks, but it really is because these are the books I really like and I really enjoy. Um, so these are all right here. For example, one of my favorites is The Three Musketeers. I always really love um, Alexander Dumas's stories and The Three Musketeers is one of my favorites when I was growing up a kid. Um, I wanted to be a musketeer, so there's always gonna be a spot for The Three Musketeers on my shelf. So there's a new addition to the studio and that is this shelf right here. So I really like this shelf from Ikea that is this height. Um, I just really like the fact that it has all these cupboards, all these drawers all the way down. And what I liked about these drawers is that they are literally the perfect size for my 11 by 14 prints. So I can literally just make my prints and store them in here and I know they're gonna be nice and safely, uh, nice and safe. As it goes all the way down, I have like my linoleum, I have already carved blocks, so. So they have a new spot right here and I got some new plants for the studio too because I just had a little bit of extra space. So we have three little guys that are gonna be right here. Then I have my big beauty over here, my big old Monstera uh, plant that Frankie, if you're watching, thank you so much for giving me this baby. She's still thriving right here. And then right over here, I have the shelf that was also contributing a lot to the issues in this studio. This time the shelf, I kind of took everything that was there, which were my printmaking tools, and I just have my tripods in there, a couple plants, and then just a couple of books and other little things that I use every day, like, you know, my colognes, deodorants, uh, medication in there, and then like a bunch of paint brushes. Then yeah. right here I have my clothes, and you don't need to see that. But yeah, I hope you like this new studio setup. I hope I can see more of you, and I honestly, I can't wait to start recording some cool content and start recording some classes that I'm so excited and I've been craving to get back to it. And I feel like this is gonna be so much useful for that. And just kind of sharing a little bit more about printmaking overall. And if you're wondering what this print is right here, um, I actually wanted to ask help from the community. I actually was just gifted this amazing print. It is um, some sort of washi paper and it seems, and I believe it might be a woodcut going off with the little grain and texture that this has. Um, I have no idea who made this print. So if you recognize it or if you know who the artist might have been, just shout out in the comments and I'll appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Daniel Villa and I am a printmaker working from home and just working without a press. So if you'd like to learn more about printmaking and just kind of know a little bit more about art, then don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter, The Ink Plate. That is a weekly newsletter for relief printmakers. And just check in here once in a while for a new YouTube video and definitely check out my Instagram, Daniel Villa Art. Until next time. <sighs> Yeah, that was Thursday. Okay, let's go get some tacos.